Hey everyone, um, right now I'm having an infestation of aphids going on in my garden. Um, as you, uh, if you watch my earlier videos, uh, you know I planted peas along with most everything else. Um, the problem I'm having now is, I didn't have this last year, uh, all my pea plants are covered in, in, in these aphids and I'll show you here in these pictures. Now as you can see, you can, they're covered. Not all the plants, but I would say a good 70% are covered. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough of these guys here, the ladybugs. Uh, there's a few here and there, but for the amount of aphids, these things would weigh probably 20 pounds each. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so what I plan on doing is destroying these aphids um, with a solution of neem oil and soap in a two-gallon sprayer and spraying all my plants in here. Let me show you how to make that mixture right now. Alright guys, uh, what I have here is a two gallon pump sprayer. You can use a gallon depending on the size of your garden. I probably actually need one of those backpack type uh, for the amount I have uh, in, my, in my garden. But this is going to do good. I got two of these. Um, you're going to need some uh, soap. I'm not, dishwashing soap will work also. I like this stuff here, Cell Suds by uh, Dr. Bronner, right here. Uh, it's, more, it's a more natural soap. Um, neem oil. Yeah, that's right, it's neem oil. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to look for some good organic first cold pressed neem oil. Um, just like your olive oils, the same deal. Uh, get the first cold press. Now, neem oil, much like coconut oil, when it reaches a certain temperature, it uh, it starts to harden. Okay, I don't know what that temperature is, but if it's like right now, it's got to be mid low 70s, and it's it's liquidy, but it, you can tell there's some thick spots in there. Um, and if it falls much much below 70 or in the 60s, it starts to get hard. Just leave it in the sun for a little bit or, or warm it up in some warm water. Maybe put it in a little pan of warm water. It'll, it'll liquefy real quick. Um, but get yourself some good organic uh, first cold pressed neem oil. Uh, anything else is just an extraction and, and, and it's, it's really garbage. Um, so make sure it's... Uh, I got this on Amazon. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was half the price of this little guy here, which was eight, what is it, 16 ounce here. So, um, just look for First Cold Press on Amazon or, or eBay or whatever, and, uh, you know, get the largest quantity you can, or what you're going to use anyways. All right, mixing ratios, uh, you're going to want, it, generally, you're going to want two and a half tablespoons per gallon. And I got one of these cup things here that I saved from something. I don't remember what it was. But this is two and a half uh, tablespoons. And one tablespoon of this soap right here. Okay, again, you can use dishwashing if you wanted to. Dishwashing soap. I already got this filled to two gallons. Now, the reason why you use soap is because oil doesn't mix with water obviously you need an emulsifier something to make the two the water and the oil mix together and the soap itself destroys the exoskeleton of the bugs um, and they actually suffocate and die so we're going to use this is two and a half okay that's two and a half right there that's per gallon, remember. So I got two gallons. I'm going to do this twice. All right. And then the soap. One tablespoon. One. Two. 
Now we're going to close this up real good and we're going to shake it up. All right, now we're ready to spray our plants. All right, guys, we're ready to spray. Uh, now, a lot of people are going to say, but that's very harmful for the ladybugs. And it's true, it will uh, hurt the ladybugs. But you got to weigh the balances here. You got to figure out what's good and what's bad. Uh, two or three ladybugs here and there is not going to take care of a aphid infestation, all right? You would need thousands of ladybugs. It's rare to have that, okay? What the strange thing is here in East Texas, during the winter of all times, uh, my shed and my garage, millions of these uh, ladybugs will come in through these little cracks and holes and then just uh, implant themselves all over the walls and the corners in my garage door on the on the inside. I don't need them during the winter. I need them now. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, during the spring and summer, I may find a couple here and there. Uh, unfortunately, they won't do much, you know. When you got an infestation as bad as I have, um, you're going to need a lot of ladybugs. So in this situation, uh, I mean, if I see one, obviously I'm not going to spray it, but, uh, you know, you got to weigh the balances out, you know. So, we are ready to start spraying. I need to mention also neem oil when it gets on your plant uh, and it gets on the on the um, on the uh, aphids uh, it'll soften their exoskeleton it'll suffocate them um, aphids, they will suck on your uh, plants, the, the softer plants like, like your peas, and then suck the life out of them, and they'll destroy the plant. Um, so when you spray your leaves, make sure you spray the tops and the underside of the leaf, okay? And uh, so we're going to do that right now. A good idea while you're doing this, pump it of course and give it a shake. Man, there's like millions of these aphids everywhere. Now, it's good to not do this if you know it's going to rain, obviously, because the rain will wash the neem oil away in the soap. Uh, so watch your weather forecast. Make sure it's not going to rain for a few days. Uh, you'll get the full benefits of the neem oil. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Um, like I said, um, don't do this if you know it's going to rain. Um, so watch your weather forecast, make sure it won't rain for a few days. Um, make sure you get both sides of the plant, the underside and the top and all the way around it. Uh, you want to soak it pretty good. Um, because like I said, these, these aphids, they will suck the life out of your plants. Okay. And they'll shrivel up into like nothing because it, they draw everything out of the plant. All right, guys, so uh, appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.